Welcome back to Rich in Colors. Today I'm gonna show you this app called Pixlr. And this is all going to be a day of playing around to take a look at your photos um, that you've taken of your oil pastel projects and to play around inside of this app and see some of the different filters and adjustments you can make to create even more original artworks inspired by your original design. So. Let's take a look at how this app works, and then it's just gonna be a day of play. So if I go to the homepage, you can see that you can take a photograph, you can get photos from your album, you can make collages, all that cool stuff. Um, so I'm gonna click photos, and I'm gonna see a bunch of photos here. Now, I already started playing around with this app, so you're gonna see some photos that are already edited. But what I did is after I finished my oil pastel projects, I took a bunch of different close-ups of some of my favorite areas of my oil pastel. So something like this would be uh, what I would create, right? So now this is a zoomed in close-up of my oil pastel project and I'm gonna play around with it. Now the first um, area that you can look at are a couple of just basic adjustments that you can make to your pictures. You can crop it to be a square, to make it a nice Instagram size. Um, you can do some just regular brightness and highlights and that kind of stuff. You can see as you drag, you can mess with those adjustments. Now that's all great. I also like this healing brush uh, because if you, let's say, have a little spot like this and you want to draw over it, it helps to clean up some of those crumbs that happen with oil pastel. So that's a cool thing to know about. But what I really enjoy is all under this little star here. And these are different filters. So it's gonna show you some default filters from the top, but there's also this menu that continues to let you explore all of these different filters. So this is where you're gonna have the most fun today. You would see that once you click one, so if I click this Hagrid one, it's going to adjust that made those colors super bright. Um, so I can make that intense or not in as intense by using this little slide grid. I can also pr press the X if I don't want to apply that filter, but I like how intense this just made those colors. I'm gonna click the check mark. And then, you know, just to look at some of the things that I really enjoy in these, um, I really enjoy some of these atomic ones and especially like night vision and negative really flip the whole image around inspector uh, brings down some of the colors as well so we've got this like toned down version so I'm gonna just kind of do something like that press the check mark um, taking a look at some of these other things so it's got these default ones the atomic you know, really mess with the colors in some cool ways that you can play around with. Um, something else I really like are these creative modes. You could do something like this art Funko, which ends up doing uh, a little bit of that pop art look. I also really like things like Helena that turn one section into color and the other black and white. If I adjust my little tool at the bottom there, uh, you can see that it can make it more or less intense in the dark areas. I love these because I think it just adds this even more abstract look to your work. Um, so it's all just very cool. Look, if I, I do this Piper one, it has these primary colors. If I move my, my uh, menu bar at the bottom, what ends up happening is it starts to make this, oh, this opacity adjustment. So it has these really cool overlaps. And I'm I really love how this one just turned out actually. So if I love something, what I can do is uh, click done at, at the top and click save image. And when you're saving your image, always save your image um, as a copy if it gives you that option. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna keep going back between different colors um, and images and let's pick another one to mess around with. Here we go. This little close up one here. So I'm just gonna come back and take a look at some of the other adjustments that I can make. So over in Unicolor, it's going to give you some of these monochromatic color schemes. And when we look at old, this gives us that vintage look at some of the pictures, subtle changes. 
and then these vintage changes that you can do to color. So I'm just gonna choose one from all of this. I'm gonna do this like Neo here. Um, Cause I, I don't know, I just really like how, how that deep red looks with this image. Now, also you can mess around with some of these uh, default edges that you can add. And there's also, if you, if you keep scrolling through, there's textures that you can add on top of your work as well. Um, so I'm gonna click look, just clone for a second so you can get an idea um, that they mess with either adding a whole image uh, or filter on top of maybe the edges of your picture or it creates a frame. Um, and that gives you just an idea there if I can turn this down a little bit. Sometimes everything, like with these edges, it could be super intense. So mess around with how intense that ends up looking. And I'm just gonna press the check mark. Um, I'm also going to kind of mess around because I have a lot of extra space up there. So maybe I want to do something like a square to get me more of a focus on that spiral. And now I want to even come back and mess around with some of these frames. I think they look nicer on like a square kind of artwork. So all of that is just for you to play around. Some of these little advertisements will pop up when you're trying to save some things. Just wait for it to, the X to show up and close it out. Click and save your images. Um, so save all of your work. You should spend today just playing around with this app, playing around with some of the filters and adjustments, creating some more original artwork. I'm gonna go to my images so you can see all of the different things that I've done here using these photo apps. So some of the, the cropping um, I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed messing with how subtle or how vibrant the colors were. This monochromatic color scheme really looks interesting to me. And even when you really start messing with it, turning it into black and white and adjusting that contrast, there can be some really cool things that develop out of this app. And I want you to just to get used to playing around with your images and exploring the possibilities. These make amazing phone backgrounds or backgrounds to some digital art that you might want to make uh, later on in the year. So check it out, check out the app, see what's possible in turning your artwork into more and more artwork. So have a good one.